Hello traders, hello investors, how are you guys doing today my friends? Welcome to another video here in the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan and today Tesla is going up more than 6% right now. It is flying thanks to Federal Reserve by the way and this reaction is not a big surprise to us here in this channel at all. Today, this morning, I recorded a short video, a flash analysis in this channel and we describe it this scenario because Tesla was in a sideways correction. It was just in a congestion. However, this reaction is making Tesla break the previous resistance at 188. In addition, the 21 Lima is finally pointing upwards again and Tesla is resuming the bullish sentiment in the one hour chart at least in the short term. Could this reverse the bearish sentiment seen in the day chart? We'll see in this video. First, remember to click on the like button to support this channel, subscribe to keep in touch with my data analysis video every day. And I'm recording shorts as well with flash analysis during the morning. So I'm here during the opening, I'm here when the market is about to close. So guys, I'm gonna keep you guys informed on every single scenario regarding Tesla and on other stocks as well. Yesterday, I did a video on NEO. I, I recorded a video on NEO and we nailed it. The reversal. NEO is only going up 20% today. So, I think you guys are going to enjoy this channel. And to keep in touch with premium analysis, check my website. The link is in the description of this video. Join the top 5% of traders that can actually, we can actually make money and beat the market while doing so. So, I think you guys are going to appreciate what I have to offer. Check today's market dive because guys, Tesla, Tesla, just like other many other stocks, is doing reversal signs, okay? Many other stocks are also doing important reversal structures. Tesla, in the one hour chart, it was already bullish because we were doing higher highs, higher lows above the EMA and right now today, we are breaking the previous high. We are breaking 188, so we are just triggering another bullish pivot point on Tesla. This makes me believe that, that yes, the trend is reversing in the daily chart and Tesla has a lot of upside potential in this scenario. As I already told you guys in this channel, I am working with 198 in the short term. I believe we're going to hit 198 in the next few days. I do agree. If, if you say, oh Nathan, but we have the 21 EMA over here working as in resistance right now. I'm not going to disagree with you. This is concerning at least, but still I think 198 is a more meaningful resistance level to work with and a target level to work with in the short term. Only by breaking the EMA and by breaking 198, I believe Tesla is going to reverse the trend in the day chart and this is where things get interesting. Tesla is reversing the trend along with many other stocks. Uh, Tesla is among the best stocks that I see around to be honest. It is not the best. So guys, check today's market dive. Check my, my website. Today's market dive is unmissable. We, I see incredible opportunities in this market right now and I did share with you guys today. So seriously, consider subscribing to this market dive. It is, again, unmissable. Now, Tesla is reversing just like other stocks. And in this scenario, what if Tesla actually reverses, okay? What if we actually break the EMA, uh, break the 198? In this scenario, 234, $234 is our next target. Where is the uh, price range to here? Meaning, we have more 21% upside potential from here. This is quite good. So uh, remember, the trend is still bearish in the daily chart. However, we are doing a very strong bullish reversal structure in the one hour chart. 7% today. 7% Tesla is going up 7% right now. So yes, I think that by triggering this bullish pivot point, in, in addition, in addition, we failed in losing the 179, which we already discussed here in this channel. Tesla uh, found another support level at 179. 
uh, I told you guys yesterday on our newsletter as well that yes, this justifies a buy position because, well, the risk is quite low, it's below the 179 and the, and, and the upside potential is simply incredible. So yes, this support level worked nicely, this resistance was, uh, Tesla broke this resistance today. Right now, 188 is a support level. According to the principle of polarity in technical analysis, previous resistances are going to work as future support levels. It already did work as a support level right here. Um, on this candle, Tesla dropped just to bounce again, and right now we are going up even more. 7% right now today. So this makes me believe that Tesla is reversing the trend in the daily chart as well. Again, this is my opinion. My personal opinion as a retail trader, retail investor like everybody else over here. I'm not a guru, I'm not any authority in this market, so consider me just as a guy sharing my thoughts as a professional trader, all right? Retail trader, but, but I, I, I don't work for any institution. This is what I truly mean as a retail trader, all right? Because I do this for a living. Now, uh, Tesla is trying to break the EMA. This is quite good. So, okay, maybe 198 is indeed our next target. In the weekly chart, in the weekly chart, the situation gets way, way more serious because Tesla did a very good bottom sign just above the most critical support level on Tesla. It did a hammer candlestick pattern. This week, we triggered this hammer. So we see a bullish pivot point in the one hour chart. We see Tesla breaking the EMA in the daily chart. We see a hammer candlestick pattern in the weekly chart above the 179, above the bottom line of this descending channel. So see why I believe that Tesla is bullish right now at this moment. So I do believe we have more upside potential. My first target is 198. What if we break 198? $234. And $234 is quite close to the EMA in the weekly chart, which is at $230. $3. So, all of this gives, gives me the impression that Tesla is going to bounce in the next couple of days, in the next few weeks, possibly. And, uh, okay, Tesla is going up nicely. What could completely frustrate this sentiment, your bullish thesis on Tesla, Nathan? Well, I'm not going to talk about Elon on Twitter because this is old news. I still see people saying, oh, Tesla is going to keep dropping until Elon is done with Twitter. Uh, rarely this is how the market works. I think this is already priced, or, or at least most of the prices. And to me, it's all about the technicals. The technicals are going to offer me uh, the upside potential, the risk that I'm taking on this position. So this is it. It's all about technicals. And regarding technicals, what could potentially ruin this bullish thesis is if Tesla loses 179 again. By losing 179, I believe it is going to destroy the bull trend in the one hour chart. It is going to totally frustrate the bullish, uh, the possible bullish sentiment in the weekly chart. And it's going to probably indicate to us that Tesla is going to seek lower levels. Maybe it is going to retest the purple trend line down here again in the next few weeks. So 179 is the most important support level for us to work with in the one hour chart and in the weekly chart. In the daily chart, we are doing good. Okay, this is great. And uh, maybe, okay, this just occurred to me. Maybe we can see the bullish pivot point in the daily chart as well, right? So again, one set either way, 179 is our support level to work with. So this is why I'm telling you guys, Tesla has low risk. If this goes wrong, okay, we're gonna lose a little bit amount of money, nothing compared to what we can make in this market. And if this works out for us, the upside potential is simply incredible. If you are still watching this video, consider subscribing to this channel, click on the like button. Thank you very much for your audience. I'm going to keep you guys updated every single day on this channel. So thank you for your support, my dear friends. Stay safe. Farewell.